Hello and welcome to another episode of DVC TV and in this episode we're going to be showing you how to scribe and fit a set of cabinets you've either purchased or a set of cabinets that you're going to make. Um, this will kind of work for any van, so whether it's going to be a transporter or a sprinter, the principle is all the same. And we're going to show you how to do this using minimal tools. Cut to some cabinets so they can see end product. Go. So the tools you're going to need is very simple, you're going to need a piece of wood, a non-branded pen, a non-branded tape measure, and a non-branded jigsaw, um, insert brand in there that when they pay us, yeah. I'll do them on from there. No other real cutting device is really going to work, you're kind of going to need a jigsaw to do it this way. Um, we're not saying that this is the, the most professional way to go about it, this is kind of not how we do it, um, but just with minimal tools and equipment this is, this is going to get the job done within a couple of millimetres so I think it's going to be going to be pretty easy. So let's take you through how it's done. So we're using a scrap piece of wood to make templates to help us scribe the cabinet. So step one you're going to want to take uh, your first measurement which will be a height measurement and then project that onto your piece of wood. Then you want to take a depth measurement and also measure that on your piece of wood and then you just want to project those lines across giving you either a square or a rectangle so the next step is once you've got a square or a rectangle you're going to want to offer the piece up and then by eye just draw that in bearing in mind I'd rather this be done five or six times than trying to do it in one or two um, you'll see why later, um, but you can keep taking material off, you can't put that material back on. So we're just going to have a little rough guess and then Phil's going to go and cut that out. To avoid getting any pen marks on your material you might want to obviously put some masking tape on, because um, obviously the pen will stain. But we're just using a piece of scrap for now. So as you can see that's not a bad fit, but again it's not a perfect fit. There's still some gaps there and would like it to fit better than that. So then what you're going to do is this largest gap you've got, which is obviously on the corner of the wheel arch in this occasion, you're going to get a piece of block of wood or a little chocolate block. And you're going to use that as a little rest for your pen. If this is a big piece obviously uh, get the wife involved. And you're just going to put that piece on there, rest your pen on, and then use that to draw around. And that should project the shape, obviously, that you're leaning on, onto the wood. And again, we'll cut that out. Once you've got this shape to be absolutely perfect, you can then transfer this template that you've now made onto your actual piece of wood uh, by leveling the bottom and the side. And then when you put your final piece of wood up, it should just fit just like that. So when either buying or building your own cabinets, there's going to be a few things you need to consider and I'd say the most important is material. So hinges for instance, that's kind of an industry standard hinge and these are the hinges we use, obviously the difference being this is just a little pinion hinge and this one's a hydraulic soft close hinge. Obviously the quality is different and again with this pinion hinge you're going to need a little push button um, which are kind of plastic and a bit fragile to kind of shut. So when either buying or building your own camper vans, there's going to be a few things you need to consider and I'd say the most important is material. Bastards. Fixings, you're going to find that this is the fixing that a lot of home builders use or a lot of small companies use. Um, this is alright, it'll do the job, uh, but again it's not the best product on the market. So we use this Craig system, so you basically get the drill bit, it drills a pocket hole. 
and obviously you put this custom thread in there and then instead of just locking it in at 90 degrees this is going to lock it in at a slight angle which is going to give you more binding you would making it stronger chuck me a piece of wood fill brilliant um, I think it's time to eat some crumpets be back in two Nice man. Do you normally burn them? I like them. So it's a bit firm. Mmm, baby. Oh my gosh. So obviously we've talked about a lot in this video, so just a, just a quick summary and a breakdown is obviously work out what your budget is, um, work out if you're going to buy them or you're going to build them yourself. Um, you then need to work out what kind of fixtures and fittings you're going to need. Um, obviously when you're scribing it, do you fit, measure your height, measure your depth, no, and then on top of that, obviously when you're scribing it, do you fit, measure your height, measure your depth. No, measure your measure your height. I'm doing this. <laughs> obviously, measure your height, measure your depth, and draw them out. Look at your angle. Do yourself a little rough cut. Hold that in. Measure the thickest gap that you've got. Obviously, in your rough cut, you want a little piece of wood or something that's just a little bit bigger than that gap. Literally hold it on the top, scribe it all the way around with your pen, and that should take you in a couple of millimetres. And I think that on a, on a self build should be more than perfect. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Press the little bell button so you can keep up to date with obviously the new videos that come out. Um, videos to follow, we're going to be shooting videos of the T6x6. We're going to be showing you um, that we're currently building a gin van, is that right? A gin van and a gin trailer for Burrell's Gin. So that's happening. Um, I think me and Joe's Fab Lover are about teaming back up to build something else. So. Just keep checking in, keep updated, happy camping.